We grew at a fast pace, both in terms of the number of services we were offering our clients and the size of our business. As a result, we ended up putting people into a boardroom, or doubling people up in our offices, and we couldn't physically fit them into our space anymore. No natural light. The lunchrooms weren't being used. There was a sad, lonely table, three or four parties trying to get into a meeting room at one time. There's no staircase. You have to take an elevator. Massive barrier. Because the high walls had been a bit of rat maze, so we actually had people taking out panels. So they were literally tearing down a wall so they could collaborate better. So we advised clients on office space, and our office space wasn't really a good model for that. We actually got to really apply the Collier's way to ourselves, and that's a way of truly understanding. Putting ourselves in our client's shoes that we talk about a lot, we actually got to honestly be in our client's shoes for this move. We are the experts, so it's important that we nail this and make this a showcase for our clients. The entire process started two years ago with our very first visioning session. Our goal was to streamline everybody's creative vision and strategy. If anything, project managers are fastidious about staying uh, on time, on schedule, and on budget. We have a very detailed cross-tracking log. Uh, we've developed work-back schedules for every sort of decision that needs to be made. Lining up the teams that we need. We've got move captains and a move committee. So our guiding coalitions around really important areas of the move are what's going to make sure that everyone's moving into a space that works for them. Our people have told us what they wanted. It allows the process to become really transparent. It allows everyone to understand how we arrived at certain decisions and why the space will eventually look the way it does. And people always ask, what does the office of the future look like? This building checked all the boxes for everything, but especially for access and transportation. So I think, again, our staff is going to be far more efficient, far happier when they get to work. We're the first stop in our elevator bank. We've got a lot more people on one floor plate, much more engaged in that way and much more interaction. Having a common lunchroom is going to allow us to kind of cross-mingle with people that we don't necessarily interact with on a daily basis. All of our offices, workstations and benching are sit-stand. There's a flexibility in the systems that we're using, the ability to share information, the right to light, a sustainable space, something that's about that talks about their health and well-being, even if they're sitting in a workstation to do heads-down work. All the corners in the office space are going to be left open for collaboration space. So there'll be no private offices, there'll be no, no encumbered space. That, that's the space where we're going to have internal meetings. People can kick back on a couch environment, and have an internal meeting, collaborate with each other. Each corner will be a little bit different. We will have some private offices. We, we didn't want to get away from that entirely, but it'll be much more collaborative and open. So it'll be part of the kitchen and the reception area. Again, very client-facing, all about collaborating with our clients and our people. So this is fabulous. We have an internal staircase that connects us with the 14th floor. We've got this amazing boardroom. It can be split into two separate boardrooms, and it's going to have great audiovisual capabilities. We walk into an executive benching area. And so it's a huge move for Colliers. It's a real statement for Colliers that we're planting our flag at 181 Bay. I think the whole team's game will be picked up because we are on Bay Street. You could see the excitement of our people. You could see their enthusiasm. The day one of a move after uh, people have been someplace else for 20 years is pretty amazing. These are all the things you've asked for. I think we ticked that box.